Hello Libra, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. So Libra, this is your reading for the second half of March, and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa, and time is fluid. Libra, in this reading, we'll see what is your energy, what is uh, the energy of the person you're thinking about, you're dealing with, you will be dealing with. So basically, we'll see what are the things that you need to know for the second half of March, Libra. So this is a general reading. Uh, hit like, share and subscribe and comment on below. The link for the extended is in description box and comment section. Uh, in the extended, Libra, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. All right. Now, coming back to this reading on YouTube, what I'm going to do is I'll shuffle the cards, I'll lay them down, and then we'll see what is your energy, what is the energy of this person you're dealing with, you will be dealing with, you, you will be dealing with, you are dealing with, or you were dealing with. Okay. Let's get started. Wow. We have a great start, and we have 10 of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and then we have uh, Ace of Pentacles for you, for your person. King of Swords, then we have Knight of Pentacles, and then we have Ace of Cups. Libra, you might be dealing with uh, an Earth sign, Taurus Virgo, Capricorn, a strong presence of Pentacle energy over here. This is your spread, okay? You might be dealing with another Libra as well, Scorpio, Virgo, uh, Pisces. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. Libra. Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and Ace of Pentacles. All you're thinking right now is about money. How can I grow my money? How can I increase my monthly income, my yearly income? How can I reach a position where I don't have to worry about money? I don't have to worry about the expenses that I'm incurring. Okay. You strongly believe in one thing, Libra. Okay. Like you don't want to reduce your expenses. You want to, you want to increase your income. Okay. You strongly believe that because you are also an explorer energy libra by nature you are explorer you like to explore things you like to explore uh different things and different situations you like to experience things okay and for that money is needed so you know that money is important and not just to experience life but uh, from perspective of a security you want to secure your own life you want to secure your future generations so you are kind of ambitious and you have a have a long-term vision okay you don't want to create wealth only for yourself you also want to make sure that you are earning enough so that your future generations can also have a comfortable life okay so there is a possibly there is a generational shift that you're bringing in maybe for some of you the kind of money that you will be making in the future short term and long term okay uh, the kind of money that you will be making, I see you have never seen such kind of money ever before. You had never ever expected that you will be making such amount of money. Okay, so possibly you will be your family's first millennials or billionaires. Uh, you are going to create a lot of wealth, a lot of assets for yourself. And these are some long-term assets. So it's not the case that you are establishing a business empire and after like 10, 20 years, it's going to drown. No, you're establishing something. You're creating something big. And the legacy of whatever you're creating is, is going to run for years and years to come. Okay. So uh, a long-term wealthy situation is getting created for you. For many of you, I see that you're making conscious efforts to bring a shift in your generational uh, situation. Maybe many of you know, I mean, you're, a, you probably, you might have experienced a financial, uh, financial crunch while growing up. You might have seen your parents living paycheck to paycheck. Even your grandparents uh, maybe didn't have enough of money and you, know one thing for sure while growing up you always knew one thing for sure that i want to make money 
I want to make money. Okay, and there is nothing wrong in that. Let me tell you that. No one is going to call you as materialistic, and no one is going to call you as greedy. No, 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 not at all. You are. I don't see there is any kind of greed over here. Okay, there is a positive energy towards creating wealth. Okay, and that positive energy is coming because you have experienced something in the past, Libra. You have seen something which has remained at the back of your mind for so many n number of years. And you definitely don't want that situation to be continued. You definitely want to put you a hundred percent towards creating uh, a possibly a luxury life, towards creating a wealthy life, towards bringing a shift in your lifestyle. There is something big that you are envisioning. There is something big that you are manifesting, and of course, whatever big is, it also involves big money. Okay. So with Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. I definitely see right now your priority is about your financial goals. Does that mean you don't want love? Of course not. Okay. Uh, with Ten of Pentacles, you are also craving companionship. But maybe in the past you were you were chasing love, but you are in a place where. you have come to realization that there is no need for me to chase love okay whenever i am in that mindset whenever i feel i will manifest love in my life okay so you want love love will come towards you but love will come towards you when you are prepared libra it's up to you the ball is in your court when you are ready when you are prepared love will enter the and of course the right love will enter in your life it's up to you okay and i see uh, libra your perspective is definitely a long term perspective whether it is about creating wealth business or whether it is about creating uh, a relationship in your life you want everything from a long term perspective i don't see you have any kind of temporary plans like oh let me see let me get into this uh, get let me get into a relationship with this person and then let me see how things happen no from day 1 itself even though you and your partner won't be married but you will treat your partner like a like a marital spouse of yours okay uh and your person will get to know that the way you are treating them the way you are with them okay this person will be absolutely floored whoever this person you is next partner of yours libra they are going to be very possessive and obsessive about you very very this person will go crazy i see like this person will become jealous pretty quickly libra because the kind of love and experience they will be exp uh, they will be getting from you they will be kind of uh, slightly selfish that i don't want you libra to share this love with anyone else <laughs> so if this person sees you <laughs> talking to an opposite sex this you like they are going to become insanely jealous like don't worry this this might remain for initial couple of days not always okay uh till the time once this person becomes comfortable in this connection once they uh, you know once they have that kind of trust uh i see a comfortable relationship between you and this person doesn't mean that the initial couple of phases will be uncomfortable in fact you are going to enjoy that that they become so i mean they will be become, becoming jealous so quickly you're going to have a hearty laugh about it libra okay whoever this person is they are coming towards you uh cannot deny the possibility libra that you're going to meet this person through work or at work we have so many pentacle cards over here for some of you this can also be your boss okay or you are someone's boss uh if this is not the case then you might collaborate with someone uh for work reasons and that is how you're going to meet this person or it can also be a pretty random meeting in a grocery store in a park you know in a in a parking lot uh in a concert or something like that it can also be a pretty random meeting with someone okay uh but love is coming towards you libra love is coming towards you 
I don't see you will be remaining single for long. I mean, with Ace of Cups, definitely some solid. We have two Aces, by the way. Okay, so definitely some solid love-related offers, money-related offers are coming towards you. I mean, you have, you guys have some wonderful cards. Okay, like what more do you want? These are some wonderful, wonderful cards, Libra. Okay, two Aces, Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, amazing. I mean, other two two cards are also awesome no doubt about it okay uh but these cards are giving more surety about something solid that is about to happen in your life i want you guys to claim this uh in the comment section okay because this is a a blessing i'll say a blessing that is coming towards you and you don't want to miss this this is possibly a once in a lifetime opportunity in terms of money and even in terms of love that is coming towards you okay i see a very harmonious connection over here okay a beautiful relationship where both of you will enjoy one another's company a lot okay both of you will also travel a lot both of you will explore a lot of things together so there is a lot of companionship there is a lot of togetherness there is a lot of fun and enjoyment and everything okay all right libra i hope uh, this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment on below and i just saw 1111 11. possibly you're going to meet your twin flame libra okay congratulations the link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person all righty take care and bye bye